How are you all doing today guys and welcome back to another video So where we left off we had um, a draw against Southampton It looked like James Ward-Prowse was going to steal the three points from under our noses With that early penalty in the 13th minute But Marcus, Marcus Rashford did ensure we uh, had to equally share the points between us uh, towards the title race doesn't really help us very much uh we're still at eight points as i'm pretty sure i've mentioned at the end of the last video but now we are back on the road to the europa league knockout stages and we have vittoria sc again this time it's going to be away let's see what we can do and then we've got wolves watford and then we'll take a trip uh yet again abroad to aik opponents uh, which we've beaten earlier in the season uh, likewise with Victoria SC. So let's see what, what we can uh, conjure up from this match. Hopefully it's another win at this moment. Um, if we are to look at our uh, group stage, we, we've got three wins from three games and we've only conceded one goal and scored six in those three games. Pretty healthy lead at the top of the table. Uh, well, literally is six points. Uh, AIK and Victoria are six points away from us. So it's good to know that if, if, if for some reason we do drop some points, it won't be an emergency. So let's head straight to it, guys. Yet again, I'm going to field some youngsters. Let's see who we got here. We're going to bring in Williams for Dalit and then Dalit for Wan Uh, We'll give Pereira a goal for Pogba. Daniel James is going to come in for Draxler. And let's give uh, Greenwood uh, another start for Rashford. Tuanzebe, he's going to be in for Maguire, who has not been impressive in his last game. He's only got a seven. He committed that uh, penalty against... Uh, who's this? Against... Who is it? So, yeah, Southampton, there we go. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but now what we can do is... Uh, I'm going to bring in Mensah for Matic. And the other Gomez, bring him on. All right, guys, I think this is lineup is looking good. With with uh, we're literally having a blend of players over here. We're keeping our main starters as well as mixing in some young players, just Williams, Tuanzebe, Dalits also featuring again. We got James Pereira and Greenwood. Marshall, obviously, he keeps his place in that left left hand side of the wing, and now we are ready to go, guys. The hair will be the captain for tonight. In the absence of Maguire, I think, is our main captain. And let's head straight into it, guys. Victoria SC get the first off on the way. Uh, looking for a bright performance here from uh, our mixed squad of experienced and inexperienced players. Is Vittoria. Good tackle from uh, Lindelof. McTominay was tripped. So it is our free kick. Five minutes gone. Nothing uh, concrete so far. It seems like Vittoria having the better game. In terms of possession. Well not anymore. Uh, Greenwood gets called over by the referee. Is he going to be get a yellow? No he isn't. Referee keeps his card in his pocket. And just gives him a warning. Uh, Greenwood's got to be careful. He shouldn't be making too many uh, tackles within his striker position, unless maybe he's he's seen a really good situation where he can dispossess this, his opponent. His Mensa to Pereira to Dalit to Mensa. Mensa goes for the shot, very good, courageous shot from the youngster, and his uh, first start of the season, I believe. Nice to see that he took his uh, chance and uh, it got saved. Twenty-three minutes in. He is the thirty-fifth minute. Here's Williams, the newly introduced left back. <laughs> Not a very good pass. Oh, it's a free kick. I think Martial got tackled as he tried to go for that. Quite a good position to uh, get a free kick. Uh, Dalet's going to be crossing it in, and uh, was that Mensa again with a header? It's our corner kick, regard uh, nonetheless. Is Dalit. That wasn't a very good header and it's a goal kick this time. Putting a bit of pressure when slightly knocking on the door 
of the opposition team, Pereira, Greenwood, and it's a penalty, guys. Greenwood does get brought down unlawfully, and it is a penalty, and let's see who's going to be taking it. I think it's Martial. Yes, it is Martial, the backup penalty taker. He scores. Fourth goal of the season. He's been on a roll in recent games. He's been really putting in work and scoring some beautiful goals, and he's a reliable Penalty taker, I think that's his third or second penalty so far this season, which is su he's successfully put in. So it's good to see we have a backup penalty taker uh, for Pogba and Rashford. Here's Dalit to Lindelof to Mensah. Finds James nicely. McTominay, good composure. And Greenwood, that wasn't a very good pass. Um, yeah, so far so good. I mean, it was a penalty. Nothing too outrageous or too extravagant. To show off our good qualities. But um, we are taking the lead right now. Obviously Victoria are. Pumped up. To try to get revenge over us. So they have that uh, advantage to their side. If that can be considered an, an advantage. But at the end of the day. It's the quality of the players that speak. And the luck you have on the pitch as well. You never know. We could have 20 shots on target. None of them goes in. They have one shot or two shot, And they score the winner. That's all football is, guys. We need to be prepared for every eventuality. And uh, slowly, slowly, the time is ticking down. I'm going to introduce some subs. I'm not really sure who to put in, though, because most of the young players who I would normally sub uh, late the second half are already on the pitch uh, as starters. So it's good to see that I have that kind of dilemma going on right now. Um, hopefully, I'm giving these youngsters the time they need. 70th minute, his Mensa, not a good pass. Dalet, good interception. Mensa had to redeem himself. To Martial, to Greenwood. And the youngster gets his fifth goal of the season. And what a goal. I think that was from outside of the box. I expected him to maybe run a bit forward in the box, but it takes a well time shot. And um, just when I was perhaps going to say he's been a bit quiet this game, I mean, he did draw the penalty, which gave us the 1 0 lead. And now he scores. Here's Williams to Pereira. Is he going to get one for himself? Here's Daniel James. Just going to keep that ball. And we're going to make our first substitution of the game. Who do we bring here? Uh, and a yellow card for the defensive midf midfielder is Mensah. He's going to give it to McTominay. Greenwood, second goal of the game. Is it offside though? VAR is being consulted, guys, yet again. Is, is this allowed, guys? Unfortunately for him. I think McTominay just passed that ball a tad bit too late. Greenwood gets it again, though. It's not too late for him to get the first, a second goal of this uh, game. Pereira to Mensah. Pereira again. Loses the ball. Still waiting on the subs. I've requested to make subs, but uh, the game just keeps playing on. The ball has not um, been taken out. Okay, here we go, guys. I think we are ready to put in... Um, Let's put in Draxler for James in these last few minutes. Draxler has not been having a good game. He's been on a six. And Fred. Let's bring in Fred for McTominay. Why not? Give the youngster a break. Now that he is involved more often in the weekly basis games. Not long left. Still a 2-0 he healthy lead. Which could have been expanded had that goal from Greenwood uh, not been disallowed. But I'm not complaining. 90 second minutes, guys. Lindelof to Pereira. This could be a potential counter attack. Here's Fred to Draxler. Draxler does get fouled. And let's pay attention to the referee. Is that his second yellow card? No, it's not. Uh, he only gets a warning. And here's Fred. A quick, quickly taken free kick to Dalit to Fred to Twenzebe. Williams and this final time guys a nice 2-0 win a nice clean sheet and another nice uh, uh, afternoon for the youngsters of this club who have successfully put in a good match and that's another three points added in the bag in our group stage and as we can see we have qualified from our group stage now we take a trip or no we welcome Wolves at Old Trafford very tough opponents it's um, our fellow Wolves team, which we managed on the last edition of the Football Manager. Let's see if we can do one over them. 
Let's bring our main starters back into the lineup. I mean, Pogba in for Pereira. McTominay is going to keep his place. Wambisaka. Maguire for Tuanzebe. And Matic in for Fonsu Mensur. Let me see what grade he got. He got a 7 in his last game. That's not bad. Good news is Luke Shaw comes back from injury. Um, okay. We're just checking some stuff out. Mm. Rashford is going to be coming for Greenwood. Greenwood's on a very good uh, season so far. One goal and five assists. Uh, sorry, one assist and five goals in 11 games so far. Which he can easily add to, as I'm pretty sure he's going to get more chances down the line. Uh, Draxler is going to come in on for James, who some, had somewhat of a miserable game. He's still searching. Oh no, he already got his first goal for the club some time ago. Mm, everything else seems to be in order. Dalet has been doing alright in his position. He's played nine games so far. Oh, it's not his first season at the club. Okay, I thought it was. Uh, Greenwood, yet again, very good. Pereira, one assist in eight games. And I think we're ready to go, guys. This is probably our strongest squad we can possibly field at this time. With uh, People keep asking if why, why I'm not making transfers. I am, guys. And um, we got. Look, I'm literally showing you guys on screen right now. Bruno Fernandes is coming in January. Let's check his contract. Here we go. Future transfer. It does say Manchester United. So he is coming. Let's uh, see how he is doing. He's got six assists and two goals in 14 games. That's quite good for a midfielder, a central midfielder that he normally should be or is. Um, I think we're ready to head into this one, guys. Um, we're coming on the back of a win here against Vitoria. But also we uh, drew in our last game in, against Southampton. So we need to start picking up some points right now if we do want to maintain that... Um, uh, gap or possibly close it against uh was it Liverpool or Manchester City whoever the leaders are he's Shaw <laughs> not a very good pass to Martial that was terrible Shaw in his first game back from injury which has keep been keeping him out for a couple of good weeks now can't remember the last time I selected him 10 minutes in guys and here is Rashford he's gonna have to cross this one in not a very good cross here's Rashford again oof Pogba what is going on? A lot of loose balls in that box, and we do not manage to take advantage. It's still nil nil. Twenty minutes in now. Joao Moutinho is being called off by the referee. This could be potentially yeah. It's his yellow card. The referee in charge today is Paul Tierney. His characteristic is sympathetic, or his personality, should we say? He's sympathetic. Okay, guys, half time approaching. Here's Diego Jota, the deadly player. Then Donka to Neves. A bit worried here. We do defend very well, though. Here's Van Bissaka going to release it to McTominay. Uh, we're running out of options. We're literally closing ourselves in right now. A ball in for Draxler, but it's not a very good one. And um, I think it's fair to say we've not really played our best the first half of this season. I mean, as we've just seen in the last highlight, we're Probably the reason why we're not getting a lot of chances is because we keep closing ourselves in our own half. We're not really creating enough runs and to give the players in possession of the ball a chance, an opportunity to actually pass somewhere rather than passing it back or passing sideways pointlessly. We've got another second half to kind of uh, really show what we're capable of. And I hope the players do just that so we can uh, get these three points and leave. Here's Johnny Doe, then Donka. 56 minutes in and still no reply from both teams. If anything, a draw would most likely or would best suit Wolves in this scenario. I'm not sure where they are on the table right now. Here's De Gea though. A goal kick. See if it's good for anything. Sure to Rashford. What a good save from the keeper. That was possibly our first opportunity, real opportunity of the game. Here's Lindelof to wan -Bissaka. And we are still in search for this goal. It's an indirect free kick though. Maguire is going to take it to Matic, to Luke Shaw. Matic, Pogba. Again, a lot of bodies in that box from the Wolves. They're managing to fend off every attack. Here's Matic again. And we're just not 
just now managing to get a goal here, which is uh, really a contrast to what we've seen from this team so far this season. Martial is injured though, so we're going to have to put in uh, Pereira on that right-hand side. We'll put him as an advanced playmaker. And let's bring on Fred for McTominay here. See if this is what is required for us to get this win in these remaining 12 minutes plus at a time. 88 minutes, guys. Is Draxler going to get that? No, he's not. Sums up what kind of miserable game we've been having. Here's Fred, though. Good save from Patricio. Possibly the last chance of the game, which we'll have. Hopefully not, but... Hmm. Not long left. Really want to avoid this 0-0 result, but it looks like it's becoming inevitable at this point. Four minutes of added time, but... I fear the game has already been concluded. Here is Wan-Bissaka. We've not got long left. We have to pass forward. If we don't pass forward, we're not going to get anywhere. And, uh, yeah. Very, very disappointing game, I must admit, from my team. Whether it was because we've had to play had to play midweek against uh, Victoria in the Europa League or not sure what the reason is. But look at the table, guys. We don't do ourselves any favour. We are now literally 10 points away from leaders, Manchester City. And um, yeah, Arsenal still are on top of us. And we're 13 days away now from the Watford game away in the Premier League. Hopefully these 10 days give these players enough uh, recovery time for their fitness. And hopefully they get a little break in between. Um, just so they come back fresh. Okay, so we have a sports radio commentator reporting that Lingard is out of contention. Sorry, is out of favour with us as manager. And he wants to leave to stay in contention for the... Yes, he can. Sorry. He is likely to leave. We've already tried selling him early on, but it was his fault. He did not want to accept the contracts from the given clubs that were bidding for him. So now he's in a, he's uh, basically dug himself a pretty, hot, pretty big hole. Um... We'll see who actually comes to try to snap him up. Draxler. What what did I just see? Draxler something. Where is he? Draxler is out for 10 days, guys. So I have to see. I don't, I don't think he'll be fit for the next game. It doesn't look likely. Yeah, he's not going to be um, fit. So what we are going to have to do is... We're going to have to put Daniel James there. And bring in Gomez here. We're running out of options here. I would have liked to have had another winger at this point. We've got Draxler who's not performing consistently. Obviously Martial's doing well. But if he was to get injured. I wouldn't really have anyone, anyone suitable for that left hand side. Uh, maybe Draxler would be able to go on that left hand side. Maybe he plays better on that left side. But with uh, Martial in form. I can't make that decision yet. I think I want to bring in Fred for McTominay. McTominay, uh, he's actually got eight in his last game, so perhaps we're going to keep him on. And let's head straight into it. We travel to Vicarage Road here. wan has on a yellow card. Here is Watford. Get the kickoff. Hopefully my team is going to put in a good show for the away fans that have travelled far to make this match. In contrast to the last game, we put on performance at Old Trafford, which isn't very good. Luke Shaw has been summoned by the referee. He is... Yes, he's going to get a yellow. He does not escape that booking. And uh, he needs to be careful for the rest of this half. wan gets there nicely. Finds Pogba. What was that? Oh, Matic commits a foul in that midfield area. Good save from De Gea. And it's a corner. wan was there just in time to um, put that ball out for a corner kick. Watford proving to be dangerous this early on in the game. Here's Lindelof. He's going to make that run. Matic again. But we are playing backwards. <laughs> it's not good. Here's Maguire. To Martial. To Pogba. 
to Rashford. And it's an indirect free kick. What a good chance here. Who's going to be taking it? I'm going to have to see. Is James or is Rashford going to be taking it? Rashford tried to put it in. Hits the wall. And it's gone out for our throw in. Seen slightly better from our, my team in this uh, late, this first half. With Tom and A to Rashford. To Pogba. And that's our first goal of the game. And how badly did I want to see Pogba, let alone this whole team, actually get on the score sheet um, after that boring last game which we had. And it looks like we're on a roll now. McTominay loses that one quite sloppily though. I expected a bit better from the young star. And Rashford is going to get there. He is going to get there and he gets saved. What a good shot. And uh, from that awkward angle, Matic to Martial. And it goes out for a goal kick. Half time guys. We have been playing the better football here, according to the shots. However, we are just um, falling short in possession by by just a bit. We're one 0 up though, which is what I like to see. Pogba's back on the score sheet after some uh, absence from that uh, from the score sheet. Half throw in. Fifty six minutes in. Here is Sabitza. Watford will be very hungry for this uh, equalising goal. And that's not a very good shot to uh, try to work towards that. De Gea going to take the goal kick. 60, 69 minutes in, here's Matic to McTominay. James. McTominay. Rashford. And it just goes over. Uh, sorry, if, uh, the goalkeeper saves it. What a good chance for Rashford to get on the score sheet. He's one Bissaka though. Lindelof again. The keeper keeps them in the game. It would have could have been 3 0 by now. What a keeper they have. Wambisaka. Not a very good cross straight at the keeper. That was perhaps our chance to end the game. But instead we don't. And now we are left feeling a bit nervous in this uh second half. Welbeck tried to go for a shot. It goes over though. Ready to calm the game down now and bring in some substitutions. We're gonna have to bring in Fred. And let's bring on Greenwood for James here. And that should be it for this uh, second half. 86 minutes in. Not a very good pass. wan Bissaka. hopefully he can get to that. He gets to it. Fred. Lindelof. Good to uh, Greenwood. Is he going to get that? Yes, he is. But the keeper comes out. I'm not sure what that was. And now we lose yet another chance. Here's De Gea. A good ball to Martial, and for some reason we don't get to see the rest of the highlight. Fred to Rashford to Pogba. Martial, we're in for a counter. Is Martial going to do it? No, he's not. It's a goal kick. Another chance wasted. Poor for Martial. He did everything right. Very fast run. And we don't end the game again. His Foster. I just pray nothing happens. His Rashford, he caught him out. He catches him out. Rashford, that was terrible. The goal was empty I mean I'm pretty sure he had a lot of work to do in terms of shooting from the halfway line or around that but it was an empty goal and player of his caliber should have scored that oh and it's a goal for Watford I'm just kidding the ball went in but the whistle for full time was long blown and we have a narrow 1-0 win a lot of chances wasted I want to see some improvement in this category because we can't we're not going to get so lucky against uh, just imagine that was Manchester City it would have probably been 2-0 for them or something with the chances we've missed. Uh, so we need to be very careful. What we take our last our last game of this episode would be against I AIK, sorry. And they're not in a very good form themselves. They have four losses in the last five games and only one win. So they're uh gonna be very, very eager to rectify their uh form of lately. We're going to be bringing in Fred this time for McTominay and Greenwood. I'm going to put in Greenwood for... Who do I bring in? Draxler is still injured. I'm going to bring in Fosu Mensa for Matic and Twanzebe for Maguire. Uh, Dalit for Luke Shaw. And... Let's bring in... Pereira this time for Martial. And Greenwood is going to be on the bench. Ready to come on as a sub. 
And it says straight into it, guys. Last video of this, um, last episode of this video. Let's get straight into it. We get the first half underway. We're at 100% capacity in terms of squad and 100% record in terms of our games in the group stage. We've literally won all our four or five games, how much ever we've played up until now. So we're in good form. Fifteen minutes in, nothing uh, from both teams uh, so far. Here's maybe perhaps the first chance. Wambisaka, a good ball into James. James does not manage to get the cross in, and the VAR. Is being brought in to see if James was fouled in the box. I don't think it's a penalty. I was just about to say I don't think it was inside the box. It is a penalty though. A very early chance to uh, score here. It's going to be Rashford who takes it. Oh, Pogba, sorry. Can you continue his goal scoring run, Pogba? He does. A very good goal. And that is his fifth goal of the season. Not a bad start from the French midfielder so far early this season. Especially after he had a month off with injury. Here's a good free kick chance. Uh, Rashford is going to take it. And it just hits the post. Very unlucky for Rashford. Still in search in his in his first goal in the last uh, two games or three games. He's on a bit of a drought, but it was bound to happen sometime this season. And it's just a matter of how he's going to bounce back. I think this is the perfect game for him. He's not versing the most strong opponent, if we're being honest here. No offence to AIK. But uh, this is a good uh, good match to really boost his confidence from a striker's point of view. James is being called over and he does get a yellow card. Here's Mons uh, Mensah. Pogba finds uh, Wan-Bissaka to Fred. And a free kick is awarded. Referee is calling the player over. And it's the second yellow card, guys. Was this the same team that was getting two red cards earlier this season? Was it? It was someone in the Europa League, I know for sure, but I wasn't sure if it was AIK. Here's Dalit. Not a very good uh, chance from Dalit. He just lets the ball slip. But yet again, a few disciplinary issues for this team. I think this was the team that was getting a lot of uh, yellow cards. Rashford, not a very good chance. Not very Sorry, not a very good shot from him to get his first goal. Approaching half time. And so far so good guys. 1-0. One, once again the squad is filled with youngsters. Good uh, defending from Lindelof to Dalit to Pogba. He's going to find Pereira but nothing else happens. Herrera is being sum summoned by the referee. He doesn't get a yellow, but he does get a warning. 75th minute. His rush for to James. A good run from James, but he does get fouled. And yet again, it'll probably be another, free another yellow card for the AIK players. Rashford is going to be taking this one. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a yellow card. He's going to be taking this one, and then we can... Um, his Tuan Zebe uh, puts out for a corner. And I think we're ready to make our first substitution. Let's bring in Martial for Pereira. And let's uh, bring in... Uh, uh, who do we bring in? Let's bring in Bailey for Lindelof. Here's a corner kick. The substitutions are being made. Whilst the play is being held up. Here we go guys. 80th minute and nothing happens. Because the cutscene just skips. ATF minute, guys. Here's James to Rashford. Rashford's still in search for that goal, which we, he so desperately needs. And he nearly gets it. And the keeper just gathers the ball again. Good shot from Rashford. And uh, very unlucky for him not to get that goal. 
his Fred to James, the pass to Bissaka to James again to Fred, and it's a goal for Fred, first goal of the season. He's uh, been replaced for this um, second part of this first half of the season uh, by McTominay. But he gets a goal though, which is good for his confidence as well. Pretty sure we're going to see more of him uh, in the coming weeks. Here's Van Bissaka. Good pass to Mensa. Bissaka again. And James gets his second goal, guys. What a good cross for Van Bissaka. And what a good control to find that cross and to put the ball down and actually get a shot and a score as well so 3-0 guys from what we went from what was looking like a narrow 1-0 win to now a 3-0 win which is good James again full time guys very good game from James good game for Pogba good game from the whole team unlucky for Rashford not to get his first goal uh, not first goal but his goal uh, first goal in the, a couple of games which he's not been uh, active on the score sheet. But it doesn't matter. It is a collective performance. And uh, we get another three points. And another three new win. And another clean sheet. And the things are looking good so far. And um, yeah. It's been an episode full of clean sheets. We've managed to win three of our four games. And we are looking good. We've got. Let me tell you guys a schedule ahead. So we've got a final Europa League game against PSV. At home but in the next game the next four games we have Burnley at home in the Premier League Arsenal at home which should be an interesting one Leicester City away in the Premier League and then we welcome PSV in our last game as I've mentioned after that is Liverpool at home again a very big tough match and then we got Aston Villa as we continue our quest in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one peace